Hi, Mia and Heather. Thank you for taking time to chat today. I feel like this is the perfect way to kick off spooky season. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I love it year round, but I know that like Starbucks released the fall menu today. So it's, it's official. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I feel like that's also a requirement for this franchise, right? They're like, are you talented? Can you dance in insane footwear? And let me have a thesis paper on why spooky season's the best. It really is. I know it's interesting because I don't know going into it if they actually formally asked that, but everybody involved that I know of is obsessed with Halloween and spooky season. They, I knew it. I, knew, I just knew it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mia... Girl, those shoes, these dance numbers, I would have broken my whole, my whole leg, like from the hip all the way down <laughs> if it had been me. So I don't know how you did it, but you, you look know, fabulous. One, I think when I become Claudine, she, I mean, she lives in those high heels. And so I think it just is part of the energy, but also I have to give credit to Heather. She was on me about strengthening my ankles and strengthening my muscles. And I had the bands, I had the balls, I was doing the exercises. So I definitely have to credit um, the fact that I still have ankles to Heather. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I'm like, if it's anything higher than like a Vans, like count me out. But... <laughs> Yeah, people Go don't ahead. realize like it, it's absolutely like one of those things that will completely change where your center is and and then like just for walking even i think like yeah you had a like when we were first i think the first movie right there was a oh, little the bit first of a movie, i was falling all over the place the second one we kind of like started gather, gathering our bearings but the first one was a little bit tragic for sure <laughs> But it, it is so involved. difficult. <laughs> I'm like, how do you do it? I can't. <laughs> so speaking of coming back to this, Heather, you made it all happen with all of those amazing numbers. What was it like stepping back into this world with so many familiar faces when it came time to actually blocking out and really figuring out the moves for each number? Oh, thank you. Um, you know, it was so much fun to come back into it, knowing our actors, knowing what, where their like strengths are. And I could play to that on top of, you know, we knew this world, we knew like how people moved, like there was, and we can expand on it. So that was for me, like, especially working with Todd uh, Holland, the director, it was like, we had a lot of fun really telling the story through um, amazing music and, um, you know, challenging, you know, Mia, like she, I gave her like a whacking move and I was like, okay, go away. I'll see you in a little bit. And she came back like, just like in character, like she just tackled it. And, you know, that's where you really see the, the growth and the characters and the, the physicality and the humanity and the story. It just, it was like, you don't realize that we're working so fast, but when you see it then happening in real time on camera, I'm just like, she's incredible. Like it just, she was on fire, you know? So it's like that, that like what we did in the first one, allowed us to get to this place in the second one I was gonna ask that was there anything you kind of threw out there you're like this is a little wild but I think you can handle it so, yeah. <laughs> that was it that was, that it. was the last for sure no I remember the first rehearsal when she showed me what it was going to look like I was like there is actually no earthly way that I can do that with my body and then like a week and a half later we we got there and I was it is my I always say it's my party trick now I will treasure that forever but yeah that was the one where I was like oh okay sure let's let's see how this goes I love that and I love that it's your party trick now <laughs> <laughs> yes put those skills to work <laughs> So Claudine really went through it in this film, just trying to like find her way and balance her desires to become a prefect with her friendships. And since so many kids are going back to school right now, I thought it'd be great to ask you, Mia, is there anything you learned from that experience that you think would help kids who are kind of, who are likely probably going to end up struggling, trying to change the who they are to fit in? 
Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think a huge thing with Claudine in this movie is that she really put the weight of the world on her shoulders and she felt the need to just be there for everybody and be prefect and just like do all the things right. And like, I know growing up, I was such a perfectionist and I know a lot of kids can really relate to that and just needing to be perfect. Um, and especially school, I think amplifies those feelings. Um, but I think as we see with Claudine, it's just, taking a deep breath, reaching out to the people who love you and just knowing that you are exactly who you're meant to be. And there is no pressure to be more than that. And, um, and I think just surrounding yourselves with love and, and reaching out to people for help is something that Claudine, like it took her a while to get there to realize that she had people who loved her and were excited to support her. And I think that that's a thing with a lot of kids. It can feel very isolating. It feels like a lot of the experiences you're going through, like nobody's ever dealt with this before. Um, you know, we're all kind of in the same boat. And so I think just reaching out for help and, and, and talking. Uh, you called me out because I also was a perfectionist and asking other people to help me. What? <laughs> I know I, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So maybe that was a life lesson for me too, and not just for the kids listening. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, it definitely applies to people <laughs> of all ages for sure. I still, it's, you know, it's a work in progress, but. Forever a work in progress, I feel like. What was your favorite dance number, Mia? And Heather, what was the your favorite one to choreograph? Oh my gosh, my favorite dance number... I think it would have to be You Don't Know, which is the one with the whacking. I think that one for me was, it was definitely the most intimidating. Like that is, it's high energy the whole time, not just physically, but also emotionally at where we are at in the film. And so I think it felt very daunting, but then once you do it, it it's like, that's the most satisfying feeling. Um, so I'm gonna have to say that that was my favorite. Nice, yeah, I think, um... I'm in the same same boat. I mean, I I have my heart is in every single one of them for different reasons, but I think yeah, it's it's in the it's in the middle of our film. It's like at the height of the conflict, and uh, the energy was just so palpable, and and it just, it felt like do or die, even in the performances on the day, you know. So, um, but yeah, the fact that we were we were able to kind of level up and do some like lifts, and we were um, you know, I had suggested the fact that the lights were going out um that we would use flashlights and so we could add in you know an element of props and like there was a lot going on um so it, it really yeah it brought the, the level up and like i think i think it was a even greater challenge even like creating like the the skeleton crew like the previs videos that we do ahead of time it was hilarious to try and actually get black space like no light to actually show on camera to, to talk to the director um, what it would look like with the flashlights. It was, it was a journey. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually our favorite too. So yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my time. So I appreciate it. And I'm excited for everybody else to watch it if they haven't seen it already, because it's great for Halloween season and just year round. Cause like we said, spooky season should be all year, not just. Yeah. September, petition to make October. it all year. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Ashley. Thanks. Bye.